And in business, the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission has announced that President Muhammad Buhari has ordered operators in the power sector to carry out mass metering of unmetered customers nationwide. NACO also declared that it had not approved any increase in electricity tariffs as reported in some quarters on Wednesday. The information by the NEC was signed by its chairman, John Momo, as the commission further clarified that tariff reviews going forward would only follow service-based principles. Joining us now is Rumu Daka Wonodi, the founder and CEO of ZKJ Energy Partners Limited. It's a pleasure to have you join us on the news. Thank you very much. Now, what does this portend for Nigerians in the light of how epileptic power supply is a major uh, concern in parts of the country? Uh, good morning. Uh, thank you for having me. Um, uh, let me first say that, um, you know, some of us have uh, actually advocated that the current tariff that we have in the market is uh, somewhat meaningless to consumers if it does not provide any service level. So this is a very welcome development in that, you know, uh, when people pay for electricity at, uh, say, 30 Naira, uh, it could guarantee them power for 12 hours and then they can plan around that. So this is very welcome development that at last, you know, tariffs will be based on some level of service and uh, it will, in a way, begin to eliminate, you know, the erratic nature of supply. So uh, this as, is very welcome. Uh, as good that, as you seem uh, to think have a it is. Level based uh, tariff. Okay. As good as it seems, we always have an issue um, of implementation. Is the directive implementable, considering the reality uh, we have in the power sector? Well, it is, it, it, it is implementable, but uh, the truth of the matter is, are we ready for today? Uh, that is the question. I, I think that there is a lot more work that needs to be done. Uh, first is uh, enumeration. So you have to know your customers you have to know the setting load and demand in every cluster that you want to provide electricity. So you're able to rotate it from 12 hours. You know, So if you have 12 hours, that means that uh, you're getting power half of the time. And then, um, yeah, so there is work that needs to be done in, in form of data. We need to collect data to be able to make this work. Uh, and uh, investments also will be needed to make sure that the network can, uh, can do what it needs to be done. But it's a, it's a good target. And then uh, once you have a good target, then you can begin to see what is required to make it work. But could it be implemented today? In some areas, yes, but it's, uh, it will be a challenge. So work needs to be done. Uh, Mr. Onodi, the directive expects that the tariff review will be based on service-based principles. Could you help us explain uh, this a little further? Does it mean that the discos can't increase tariff except with permission of consumers or subscribers? Well, I think uh, this is what it's always been, that uh, discos should consult with uh, consumers uh, before uh, agreeing a rate and then filing it with the, uh, the regulator. We've seen Ikeja Disco do that in Magodo and some places in Lagos. So yes, uh, it should be able to consult with consumers in clusters, offering them saying, look, uh, you have these... Um, uh, choice that will provide you power for 12 hours and is going to cost you, uh, say, 30 naira. But if we're able to make some investments, procure additional uh, generation, we could take you up to 16. And then uh, you might have to pay more than 30 naira. You have to go up to uh, 40 naira, or maybe it's 40 naira as it base and it goes up. So in that consultation, uh, the, the consumers would also. Uh, get an idea of when the power will show up. You know, would it be in the night or would it be during the day? If there are commercial clusters, they might prefer to have power during the day. If they are residential, we could say, we want a little bit in the morning before we go to work and then we want in the evening when we return. So it, it, it should drive the utility of power. Utility is very important. When the power shows up, it's very important. It makes no sense that uh, you leave your house, go to work, and then the, the house is being supplied with electricity only for you to come back in the night and run your generator. So there must be something to drive up the utility of, of service by when it shows up and for how long it comes up. So, 
yes, uh, that is what these codes are meant to do. But, you know, it requires patient work. It requires enumeration, understanding the, the consumers, understanding what their load profile is, how much demand is in an area, and then do it. But if we had started doing this, since we started advocating, I think we would have been in a better place today. Well, some, some would say uh, better late than never. But even with this initiative, the issue of estimated billing, uh, um, would you be able to give a time frame as to when we will do away with it? Is that even uh, feasible? You know, estimated billing, um, unfortunately, it's something that we have in the industry. And again, uh, if you look at the number, uh, that is being uh, put out there as the number of Amita's customers. You, you would see like 5 million to 6 million uh, customers. But, you know, with enumeration, just imagine that we have 100 million uh, uh, people connected to the grid, and you say that the average family size is eight. Uh, you are dealing with at least uh, 15 million co consumers, uh, customers, and then you also have to account for the commercial uh, little shops here and there in the market. So... Uh, it is possible that we have much more number of people. But yes, if we begin metering, maybe in three years or thereabout, we, we'll be able to eliminate this. Uh, let nobody think that this is a, uh, is a walk in the park. It requires work. And that is one of the things that we, we, we tend to underestimate the amount of work that, things, uh, that needs to be put to arrive uh, at the you know, preferred destination. So, All right. Thank you very much. Um, uh, that's the much time will permit us uh, to uh, have. Uh, Mr. Um, Wonodi, a pleasure to have you on the news. Thank you very much.